Welcome to day three of our Lenten journey. There's a quote attributed to Pope Francis, which says, During Lent, let us find concrete ways to overcome our indifference. This struck with me. What am I indifferent about? As I thought about it, I realized it was less that I was indifferent or uncaring, but simply that I only have so much time and energy in my life. And therefore, some things I ignore or set aside, for better or for worse. And now the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, the love of Christ that guards our hearts and minds, and the joy and consolation of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O God, to prepare a pathway for your Christ. I is coming, speak peace to your people, and turn our hearts toward you, that your saving grace and splendid glory may dwell in all the earth, through Jesus Christ, whose day draws near. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, the seventh chapter, the 35th to the 42nd verses. It was this Moses whom they rejected when they said, Who made you a ruler and a judge? and whom God now sent as both ruler and liberator through the angel who appeared to him in the bush. He led them out, having performed wonders and signs in Egypt, at the Red Sea, and in the wilderness for forty years. This is the Moses who said to the Israelites, God will raise up a prophet from, for you, from your own people, and he will raise me up. He is the one who was in the congregation in the wilderness with the angel who spoke to him at Mount Sinai and with our ancestors, and he received living oracles to give up to us. Our ancestors were unwilling to obey him. Instead, they pushed him aside, and in their hearts they turned back to Egypt, saying to Aaron, Make gods for us who will lead the way for us. As for this Moses who led us out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has happened to him. At that time they made a calf, offered a sacrifice to the idol, and reveled in the works of their hands. But God turned away from them and handed them over to worship the host of heaven. Forty years in the wilderness. Imagine that. We're here in day three of our Lenten journey, and our scripture reminds us the people were wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. Now, this is a fairly difficult scripture today, and certainly not very complimentary of the Israelite people. But I can understand them, I think. Life, then or now, or anywhere in between, I imagine, is difficult and challenging. Sure, Moses, well, and God, for that matter, had done a lot for them in the past, but, boy, lately, things have been pretty unsettled disorganized, sometimes feeling one step away from disaster. Sometimes you just have to prioritize, set some things aside, not forever, but for now. Just get through the week or the day. It isn't that we don't hold those other things to be important. Just that, for right now, 
There isn't space for them in our lives. During this Lenten journey, I invite you to consider perhaps just one thing that you have set aside, something that maybe God is calling you to give your time and attention. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of your risen Lord, who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation. The new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. For the gifts of relationship with others. For the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world. Heal the hurts of all your children and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world, the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare, especially the Ukraine, for all who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction, for the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. Into your wide embrace, O God, we place all our prayers, spoken and unspoken, trusting that you will receive them into your heart of mercy. Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Now let us join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, we forgive those who trespass against us, 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now the God of hope, fill us with all joy and peace in believing, so that we may abound in hope, by the power of the Holy Spirit, through Christ Jesus, for whom we wait. Amen. Blessings to you this day.